Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about the consistency of oil paint and how to best mix your colors uh, in order to create a consistency of paint that will allow you to apply the paint to a surface and manipulate it in order to achieve the effects that you want to achieve. And uh, the way we mix oil paint is, is really important and it's often overlooked in schools. And generally when people are starting off, they start putting in too much thinner. I'm going to show you what that looks like when you're using too much paint thinner. Or they put in too much oil and then everything gets sloppy it's an, and it's impossible to blend it. So the, the key to starting off with a good consistency of paint is to really know that feeling and that tackiness of the paint that allows it to be blended easily or allows it to be sketched on easily. And you have to prepare the paint for the canvas um, based upon what you want to do with it on the canvas. If you're going to be sketching, obviously you're going to be using a little bit more thinned out paint. If you're going to be glazing, you're going to be using a different consistency of paint. And if you're doing a la prima and trying to blend, you're going to be also using um, a different consistency of oil paint. So, um, first of all, what is oil paint? We kind of went over this in the history of, uh, I think it's just called history of oil paint video. And um, oil paint is simply just pigment and linseed oil basically. Now modern paints have a lot of other chemical additives and other stuff in order to make them stable. But more or less it's pigment and uh, linseed oil. And so oil paint in itself is not toxic. It's not like toxic to the air, but obviously it's toxic if you're eating it, which actually happens more often than most people think. Um, because you know they're painting and then they eat a bag of chips or something. Like right now my hands have paint on them. Um, and they're probably, this is titanium white, which is, you know, not too good. Um, anyway, so these are things to be careful about, I guess. But anyway, let's get into the, the palette cam, and I'm going to show you close up the two different types of um, consistencies that are really simple that you can start playing with immediately. So let's start off by making uh, a dark kind of sketching color, like a dark brown. We'll just take some black, add some cadmium red medium to it, we get this brownish color. I've just cleaned my brush so I have a little excess thinner in the brush. We take a little yellow to make it a little bit more brown. And then we can take it down into this kind of burnt umber color. Now, as you can see with this paint, it's very, very wet, right? And when we apply this paint, as you can see in this cutaway video, you can use this for sketching and you know blocking in basic big value shapes and this sort of stuff and it's good for sketching basically you're not going to do a, big, a lot of painting with this why aren't you going to do a lot of painting with this well because let's say I have this red and I want to mix it with this like redder color how do I mix these you know how do, what do you you know it's it's messy it doesn't work and these are too transparent. So this is one way to have transparent paint. But as I'll show you in the next step, one thing to always remember with oil painting is you don't want to glaze by thinning your paint. You want to glaze with a heavier, more oily glaze because it'll crack. So this is the first method of paint. I'm going to show you now the second way just by adding white tends to be, this titanium white tends to be pretty thick. So I'll show this as an example. You can see how I'm blending here. I'm just putting the brush down and I turn out the paint. Now this color is kind of ugly and purple. So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to it just to make it a little bit nicer. But now you can see really this is what's important. This consistency of paint. This is what we're going to be painting with not too oily, it's not too thick. See, let's plop down this white again. This white is still nice because we have some excess oil in there. And now I can feel it actually tugging on my brush a little bit more. And this is really the mid-level area of painting. Now if we go to the cutaway screen, we can see the best use of this sort of paint is if we're going to make some simple modeling 
because these edges where we put down these two different value shapes, so if we put down this value shape first and then we put another value shape down inside of it, these can be very easily manipulated. So that's uh, a good, good consistency of paint if you want to have edges that you're trying to blend. Uh, the third type is we're just going to take this going to take this same color. Now, here's the thing with glazing. I have a very, very opaque color here. This white right here is very, very opaque. So, and the reason why is because titanium white is very opaque. So if you want to glaze, the first rule is don't use titanium white. Okay? So, when you, on the other video I've already showed you before, but you can always check your, um, your tubes of paint, see here on this tube of paint, we have this little dot right there and the dot is full and black, that means it's opaque. So don't use opaque colors if you want to glaze something, it's not going to work. So I'm going to use this blue, it's just phthalo blue because I know phthalo blue will work. And here it's still very thick, I have a little bit of white left over and that's making it kind of opaque. And I'm going to take a little bit of linseed oil and you can see just by adding a little bit of linseed oil see that white just wants to make it opaque still but by using this little bit of linseed oil we've now created a color which is much more conducive to glazing and if we check the, the other screen here now we can see on the canvas that when you lay down this color you can actually lay down a simple glaze just with linseed oil. You can lay it down on top of another color. This is an acrylic underpainting that I have here. And by doing so, you will just um, glaze it. And you can see that underpainting underneath it. So those are um, three different ways how, uh, how you can create your oil paint and how to pay attention to the consistency of your paint. And Always remember, prepare your paint before you put it on the canvas. And if you like these sort of videos, you like these sort of tutorials, check out paintingcourse.com. The link is in the description. So check that out and you can find more stuff and more videos. Thanks a lot. See ya.